Ava what, what the requirements were for taking PE at South Tama in order to graduate. She told me that from South Tama High School, you need at least four credits of PE or of strength and conditioning in order to graduate after four years of high school. But even if you earn four credits by the end of sophomore year, you still must take the semester of PE or of strength, junior and senior year, in order to stay active. Everyone here is in high school and required to take PE of some kind. How many of you are actually involved in sports as well? So basically 75% of the room is involved in a sport. So should high school students that are involved in sports be required to take PE? Being a student athlete myself, practicing countless hours a week, and spending time researching many articles on this subject, I believe that those who participate in sports should not be required to take PE or strength. I'll discuss the following aspects. First, a brief description of what PE classes is teach and how it's beneficial to students. Second, why student athletes can benefit from the opting out of PE. And third, explaining how athletes who are taking strength class may be over-exercising and the dangers of it. Why is PE or strength beneficial to high school students? According to Allison Datsko, who wrote, What are the benefits of physical education in school? Many children are neither active at home nor at school. So it is vital that schools provide physical education programs to ensure that each child stays active. Additionally, Michelle Obama reports that one-third of the U.S. population are overweight or obese, and that schools are key setting for setting, getting their 60 minutes of vigorous activity. Along with students getting that exercise, according to the website PlayWikian, physical education classes teach self-discipline and leadership skills and provide an outlet for releasing stress. If there are so many benefits, why would we even think about opting out of PE? Although PE may be beneficial for some students, it creates many problems with those who are involved in a sport or are taking strength or PE at the same time. High school athletes participating in a school sport practice an average of two hours a day, or a total of 10 hours for the week. Our classes at South Tama are 46 minutes each, so if you're going every day, at South Tama for PE, which most people go three to two days a week, you are getting four hours a week of physical activity. So without factoring in PE, athletes are getting three times at least the amount than they would be just taking PE class. Also, students may not return home from practices each day until 5.30 or 6 o'clock, and on game days, depending how fast they travel, it may not be until 10 o'clock at night you're getting home. This does not leave very much time for homework, or time with your family or for yourself. According to an article from US News, a survey of 1,000 teachers revealed the high school that students get assigned up to 17.5 hours of homework per week. That is about 3.5 hours a night. So in my situation, I have to drive 35 minutes each way to gymnastics, and I practice for four hours. So I'm leaving straight from school and not getting home until 9, 9.15 at night. So that leaves me like barely any time to do my homework unless I want to stay up really late each night. So if I and many others did not take PE, it would open up a time for study hall in order to get those classes done so you're not so you're getting your proper amount of sleep and not stressing so much. But for people who are taking classes that aren't maybe not as hard or are just taking fun or classes and don't need a study hall, they'd be able to take another class in order that they need for graduation. I took a survey of 81 high school students freshman through sophomore, and I asked their opinion of what they think about students athletes taking PE. So 45.7% said that student athletes should not be required to take PE. And I asked also if you had the opinion, or if you had the option to be exempt from PE while in season, would you? 60.5% said yes, that they would opt out of PE. And finally, I asked, if you didn't have to take PE, would you fill the time with another important class? And 81.5% said yes. So that was kind of a really big number. And I had 81 people respond to the survey. One of the benefits of PE is learning self-discipline and leadership skills, along with releasing stress. They're all very important benefits of participation in PE or sports, and will greatly benefit those who are not in sports. But those who are actively participating in a structured sport are learning these life lessons and much more. So for me, through gymnastics, I have learned how to be there for my teammate when something is hard for them, or on the competition when we have to compete as a team, we have to cheer each other on. 
or getting through conditioning, my coaches have to discipline me in order to be a better athlete all around. And that goes along with many other people as well. Students who are in strength class have a more vigorous workout than those in PE. Many students involved in a sport take strength class, which adds yet another workout to their day, and may be over-exercising too much. According to an article on Fitness Peak, over-exercising can lead to serious health consequences, including death. A website called Fit Day states that over-exercising can cause the muscles to enter a catabolic state, which means that you are breaking down, and if you over-exercise too much, your body does not have enough time to rest and build back up the muscles, but instead it's just continuing to break, breaking down and never having time to heal, which can lead to injury. And also, from Fitness Peak, other problems may include excess cortisol being released, which is a stress hormone, and it can also lead to chronic disease. Finally, due to the risk of over-exercising, I did not take strength class because it would be too much strain on my body. And on top of how many hours I practice each night, it does not only relate to me. Um, football players practice around 2.5 hours each night and are encouraged to take strength class, so that's a lot too. And I interviewed Allison, actually, and she does cross country and runs about six miles per day. And I, she also took strength, and I asked how it affects her. And she replied, some days I was really sore and practice was a little bit more difficult. I couldn't reach my full potential for each practice because I was sore. Also in strength, you're working different muscles than you would do when you run. And some days she said she just felt really tired. PE and strength class may be very beneficial to those who are not involved in sports, but can create many more problems for those who are athletes. A certain amount of credits of PE strength are required to graduate. I believe the students who are involved in a sport should have the option to opt out of PE. Students would be able to have a study hall or take another class, and it would give their bodies a chance to rest. The school says that everyone needs to take PE in order to learn certain life skills and to be active. But I say student athletes are learning just the same thing, or maybe even more, by being in their sport. They are at least three times more active than those just taking PE. Therefore, the requirement of taking PE for student athletes should no longer be in effect.